Sparks flew at the Banking Royal Commission today as one of the NAB's most senior executives returned to answer accusations the bank hadn't been transparent with Australia's corporate regulator. Andrew Hagger was forced to face claims the NAB delayed revealing the amount of compensation it needed to pay customers so it didn't look bad. The NAB's Chief Customer Officer, Andrew Hagger, was hauled back before the Royal Commission to answer claims he deliberately withheld information from corporate cop ASIC to avoid poor publicity. It seems very simple, Mr Hagger. You no. made a decision that you were not going to tell ASIC about the amount of compensation... No, that's not true, Mr Hagger. Well, if, if that's your simple question, no. You deny that. I deny that. Hagger, previously responsible for the NAB-owned MLC, had encouraged people to trust the organisation with their money. Find a financial advisor that you're comfortable with, think about the kind of retirement that you want, and then actively take steps to work with that advisor. That's what we're all about here at MLC, which is part of NAB. He was grilled in the Royal Commission about when he told ASIC the bank needed to pay out $34 million to affected customers, not the $16 million ASIC was about to report. You regard the way that you dealt with ASIC as being open and transparent? Yes, I do. Hagger claims he opened a door for ASIC commissioners Greg Tanza or Peter Kell to ask about the extent of those claims. You know, the ball was in their court. And, and I had opened it, I could not have opened the door any wider, Mr Hodge. So being open and transparent was accomplished by saying, ask us what you like, but we won't tell you what to ask. Misleading asset carries heavy civil and criminal penalties, including up to 12 months jail for any officials that are involved. Today, the NAB denied any allegation that it misled ASIC, but already this Royal Commission has heard recommendations that the Commonwealth Bank and AMP should have charges against them. The Commission also heard NAB Chief Executive Andrew Thorburn discuss what the corporate regulator should be told about the matter. Last week, Thorburn apologised to NAB customers following revelations in the Royal Commission. Once again, uh, we've been confronted in the Royal Commission where we've let you down, where we haven't met that standard. And I'm sorry for that. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.